What's up, sons? It's Blind Riding with Son of a Tech, and we're going to have a little lesson in due diligence and how to properly check how much wattage your graphics card is using. There seems to be a little bit of miscommunication maybe that's on my end and I apologize. I am testing for what the total power draw of your graphics card is going to be if you bought one that I've showed in my videos. Today I'm going to use an example of a card I'm testing right now. It's going to be the Sapphire RX 480 Nitro Plus. It is the 8 gigabyte model. We're going to go through this real quick. First, not every card and not every PCB design is going to have a sensor detecting the flow of power to every single component on the board. This means that there's only a couple ways you can actually test true power consumption and total power draw. The way I have decided to do this is with a kilowatt. Now, yes, the kilowatt is going to detect and tell me how much wattage the entire system is using. So to get the number of the GPU, we have to eliminate the GPU from the system and test how much power the system is using without the GPU in the equation. To do this, I always test with Firestrike or TimeSpy, in this case TimeSpy, and I see how much CPU usage with that particular card each time is being used. So in this case, it's about 30 to 34 percent. Now we know that we need to put a load on the CPU between 32 and 34 percent so I went with the average of 33 percent and the way we're going to do this is we're going to use Cinebench and then we're going to use an application known as BES to limit the use of Cinebench down to where we get to only using 33%. And then we take a look at what the kilowatt says it's being used. And in this case, it's around 95 watts. So now we know that while we're running Firestrike, provided of course we're running all the exact same applications and so on and so forth, we know that we're only using 95 watts. Now we can put the GPU back in and we can actually see two things. We can see how much power uses the GPU is using at idle. In this case, it's around 40 to 45 watts, which is about right. It's about 35 to 50 watts, which is what you would expect because typically it will ask for 35 watts from the PCI rail to even boot up. So now that we know that, we can go back in, run the test bench, in this case Time Spy, and when we run it, we can go back down and we can record is what I did. We can record the number on the kilowatt and then subtract the number that we got when we were running our Cinebench test. So in this case it was about 275 watts and then we would subtract the 95 watts. So in that case we have about 180 watts of total power draw coming from the GPU alone. Which means, yes, there is no fucking possible way that an RX 480 is only using 100 watts of power. And that is blatantly fucking false. And until next time, I will see you next Tuesday.